And we at Radio Sheffield are now going to broadcast that same service, conducted by the Provost, the Very Reverend Ivan Neal. The lessons are read by the Reverend Andrew Stokes and Canon Dennis McKee. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no ablation, chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundation of the earth? God is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. Here in the city of Sheffield, vibrant with the life of industry, yet not forgetful of the dignity and skill of its workers, we offer our worship today, and we ask that you would pause a while to share with us in our remembrance of Almighty God, sensing his presence in the industrial world. How can he get wisdom that holdeth the plough, and that glorieth in the goad, that driveth oxen, and is occupied in their labours, and whose talk is of bullocks? He giveth his mind to make furrows, and is diligent to give the kine fodder. So every carpenter and workmaster that laboureth night and day and they that cut and grave seals, and are diligent to make great variety, and give themselves to counterfeit imagery, 
and watch to finish a work. The smith also, sitting by the anvil and considering the ironwork, the vapor of the fire wasteth his flesh, and he fighteth with the heat of the furnace. The noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears, and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he maketh. He setteth his mind to finish his work, and watcheth to polish it perfectly. So doth the potter sitting at his work, and turning the wheel about with his feet, who is always carefully set at his work, and maketh all his work by number. He fashioneth the clay with his arm, and boweth down his strength before his feet. He applieth himself to lead it over, and he is diligent to make clean the furnace. All these trust to their hands, and everyone is wise in his work.
For the kingdom of heaven is as a certain man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made with them other five talents. And likewise he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those servants cometh, and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which has ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. Forgive us, Lord, if in the tumult of modern life we have become absorbed in material things and have lost sight of thy call to service of thee and of others. 
we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We pray thee of thy mercy to forgive what we have been, to help us to amend what we are, and to direct what we shall be, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive you your sins, strengthen you by his Spirit, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, thou didst give thy Son, Jesus Christ, to share our life on earth, to grow in wisdom, to toil with his hands, and to make known the ways of thy kingdom. We give thee thanks for this, his revelation of thyself, his care for people, his joy in obedience, for the value he gave to human labor, the strength he promised us for service, the call to follow in his way, for the opportunities of work and of leisure, all truth that we have learned, all discoveries that man has made. We pray for society, those who work, those in management, 
the unemployed, those in research, those who guide the thinking of the people, those who maintain the life of the community. Give us growing reverence for truth and such wisdom in the use of knowledge that thy kingdom may be advanced and thy name glorified. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, our Amen. Father, which Amen. art in heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we dedicate ourselves to God in the singing of the hymn, O Jesus, I have promised. Would you liken God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles.
They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And the blessing of this God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.